My name is Ravi Verma and I'm an orthopedic spine surgeon at University Orthopedic Associates. Disc replacement surgery is a procedure in which you remove a disc herniation in the cervical or lumbar spine and instead of implanting a fusion device between those two vertebral bodies, you put a device in there which allows you to retain motion while removing the offending disc herniation that's causing your symptoms or pain. Degenerative disc disease is diagnosed with a combination of history, physical, and imaging studies. By talking to a patient and performing a physical exam, and additionally looking at x-rays and MRIs, we can determine the level of arthritis and the number of discs that are degenerated. Candidates for disc replacement surgery include anyone with disc degeneration in the cervical or lumbar spine without significant signs of arthritis or deformity. In the cervical spine, it's typically one or two discs that are affected, and in the lumbar spine, generally one disc that's affected. Patients with more discs affected than that are offered other options. In addition to disc replacement surgery, other non-fusion options we have in spine surgery include laminectomy, in which a portion of the spine is removed to allow for more room for the nerves, and laminoplasty, which allows in the cervical spine for additional room to be made for the nerves to traverse. The recovery for disc replacement surgery and non-fusion surgical options is generally faster than for fusion options. Patients generally go home the same day or the following day, and their return to normal activities is faster because they don't have to wait for a fusion to take place.